In this video, we will delve into cost-based optimization. This is a strategy used in database management systems. It's all about picking the best way to run a query based on how much it will cost the system in terms of resources. Cost-based optimization is a strategy used by query optimizers to select the most efficient execution plan. The query optimizer estimates the computational resources required for each potential plan. It then chooses the plan with the lowest estimated cost. Cost metrics include central processing unit, that is CPU usage, input-output, that is I.O. operations and memory requirements. In the diagram, we start with a structured query language, that is SQL query, which is then passed to the query parser. The query parser breaks down the query into a format that the database can understand. Next, the cost-based optimizer takes the parse query and figures out the best way to execute it. Finally, the optimal execution plan is selected. This plan is then used to retrieve the requested data. Several factors are considered during cost-based query optimization. These include CPU cost, I.O. cost, memory usage, and network cost. CPU cost measures computational effort required for operations like sorting data, evaluating expressions, performing joins, and aggregating results. I.O. cost estimates disk operations required for reading data pages from disk, writing temporary results, considering sequential versus random access patterns and buffer cache utilization. Memory usage considers memory requirements for hash tables for joins, sort operations, temporary result storage, and query execution buffers. Network cost evaluates data transfer costs in distributed systems for data movement between nodes, remote query execution, distributed join operations, and result set transmission. Key statistics used in cost-based optimization include table cardinality, which is the number of rows in a table, column value distribution, index selectivity, data skew measurements, and histogram information. To gather statistics in Postgres, use the Analyze command followed by the table name. For example, Analyze Employees. In Oracle, you can use the dbms underscore stats .gather underscore table underscore stats procedure. You specify the owner name, table name, and estimate percentage. Let us examine the join methods and their cost models. First is the nested loop join. For each row in the outer table, it scans the inner table for matches. The cost is approximately n outer plus n outer, multiplied by s outer, multiplied by n inner. This is best for a small outer table with indexed inner table. Second is the hash join. This builds a hash table on the smaller table, then probes with the larger table. The cost is approximately in build, plus in probe plus hash build cost. This is best for large tables with no useful indexes. Third is the merge join. This sorts both inputs on the join key, then merges them in a single pass. The cost is approximately sort cost of 2 and plus sort cost of 2 plus and plus and 2. This is best for pre-sorted data or when sort cost is acceptable. Fourth is the index nested loop join. This uses an index on the inner table to find matching rows efficiently. The cost is approximately in outer plus in outer, multiplied by index lookup cost. This is best when the inner table has an efficient index on the join column. In these formulas, n represents the number of rows, s represents the selectivity factor, and T represents a table. The query plan generation process involves several steps. First, generate logical query plans, which are algebraic representations of the query. Second, transform logical plans using equivalence rules to find alternative plans. Third, convert logical plans to physical execution plans that can be executed by the database engine. Fourth, Estimate the cost for each physical plan based on statistics and cost models. Finally, select the plan with the lowest estimated cost. The diagram shows the flow from the structured query language, that is SQL query, to the selected plan. The SQL query is transformed into a parse tree, then into logical query plans, and finally into physical execution plans. Cost estimation is performed on each physical plan, 
and the plan with the lowest cost is selected. Execution plans show the optimizer's decisions, help identify performance bottlenecks, reveal which indexes are being used, show estimated versus actual costs, and indicate join methods selected. In Postgres, you can use the explain analyze command followed by your structured query language, that is SQL query to view the execution plan along with the actual execution statistics. In structured query language, that is SQL Server, you can set show plan XML on to display the estimated plan in XML format. Advanced optimization techniques include join reordering, predicate pushdown, materialized views, and partition pruning. Join reordering rearranges the order of joins to minimize intermediate result sizes, considering selectivity factors and table sizes to determine the optimal join sequence. An example is shown here. Predicate pushdown moves filtering conditions closer to data sources to reduce intermediate result sizes early. An example is shown here. Materialized views precompute and store query results for faster access to complex aggregations and joins. An example create materialized view statement is shown here. Partition pruning eliminates unnecessary partitions from consideration during query execution dramatically reducing I.O. for large partition tables. An example structured query language that is SQL query is shown here. Some current challenges in cost-based optimization include outdated statistics, which can lead to suboptimal plan selection and poor performance. Complex query optimization, where the exponential growth of the search space for queries with many joins makes finding optimal plans difficult. Parameter sensitivity, where plans optimized for specific parameter values may perform poorly with different inputs, also known as parameter sniffing. And skewed data distribution, where uniform distribution assumptions often fail with real-world data, leading to inaccurate cardinality estimates. Future directions include machine learning-based query optimization, adaptive execution plans that adjust during runtime, cloud-specific cost models for distributed databases, automated index and materialized view recommendations, and self-tuning database systems. Cost-based optimization selects execution plans based on estimated resource usage, using statistics to make informed decisions about access methods, join techniques, and operation ordering. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.